如果在海上遇到鲨鱼袭击，你会如何奋力求生呢？最近，澳洲的雪梨海滩发生第三起鲨鱼袭击事件，一名女子在冲浪时遭受攻击，鲨鱼咬住了她的小腿，好在她的丈夫奋不顾身痛殴鲨鱼，成功救回爱妻。事后，这位先生也澄清，他不是像别人说的跳到鲨鱼的背上，而是爬在妻子的背后屁股的上面，利用杠杆的方式由上往下，正对着鲨鱼挥拳痛击。澳洲西南威尔斯州麦爵里港的雪莉海滩看似风平浪静，却隐藏着鲨鱼危机。当道尔毫无防备地在海上冲浪，突然间右腿被长达三米的大鲨鱼咬住，试图将它拖入海中。Oh, you see the mother of your child and your support, everything that's who you are, and so you just react. Your body reacts to saying "get off, get off," and so you start punching and. You start thinking amazingly where to punch, and so you're like, "I'll、oh, just attack the eye or whatever." You just start thinking differently, I suppose. 丈夫拉普利使尽全力挥拳痛扁鲨鱼，直到鲨鱼松口为止。而道尔被咬到的当下，奋力求生，设法爬上板子，也是成功救援的关键。I was only about two meters away when it grabbed, but if it If she wasn't on her board by that stage and strong enough to lift herself up, I think it would have dragged it down, or she wouldn't be float, you know, floatable, or floatable. And so I think that was a big part of making sure she was okay. Dora 的腿部有严重撕裂伤，还需要在医院治疗一段时间。She's in pretty good spirits, still strong, and yeah, she hopefully. All fine from here, but long road to recovery, I think. This is the third reported case of the Shetland Islands' third fatal fishing expedition. Currently, the Shetland Islands' fishing fleet is closed.